Hey guys, so I'm going to do a video on bringing in an image uh, so that you can visually see it in a 3D view. And so you, you may want to do this if you're wanting to represent it in another software like Enscape or maybe in your 3D view you want to be able to see it uh, to give more context to what you're talking about. So if we come up here to the architectural tab we can come over here to the uh, floor button on the build panel click this and just to give you a premise to start with if I exit out of that I open the default uh, template in in Revit so the template the default one that it comes on in the one that comes on the install so if you use that you should be good uh, you could you can use even if you don't have those if you start a new project you should have those system families which is floors and, and walls and stuff so you should be good either way so after you get that set up and open up a project you can come up here into a floor and make sure you're in like a floor plan view uh, as seen here I'm gonna do I'm gonna come over here to the draw panel and click the rectangle I'm just gonna draw a quick one and then I'm gonna click these temporary uh, dimensions and I'm going to change the the length of it or the height to 1,000 feet enter and then I'm going to come down here and change this to 750 feet and this may not pertain to to the uh, image that you have one thing is if you're using an image that was from drone uh, uh, pictures and stuff like that, it may be to scale so you can use the dimensions within that image. And you should be able to get that information by opening up with a default Windows uh, um, uh, image viewer. And then you can go to settings and see the properties and then get the dimensions of that image. But the images I have, I actually grabbed from Navisworks and it's this so I just took a snippet of this and then I'm gonna scale it to this size so after you get the floor created because that's what the image is gonna sit on we can come over here to manage because as soon as we create the modeled element and then apply the 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 image to it it's now a modeled element just showing the material and we can then see it in 3d views and stuff whereas if we imported the image it's actually not a modeled element so it kind of ignores it just like uh, annotation symbols and stuff so if we select it actually if we come to the manage tab over here on the settings panel we can click the materials button and it gives us this dialog box well, there's not much we need to know about this other than coming down here creating a new material it's going to give us a default new material I'm going to right click or we can yeah we're, I'm going to right click it sometimes it gives you an option to, to rename it there so I'm going to press s I'm going to I'm going to type site I'm in that panel now so if I want to come over here to appearance real quick we have image so I'm just going to up upload that image so on my desktop I've got the image that I or the snippet that I created it's a JPEG format and I'm gonna then click that area again and I'll get this little dialog box and you can see here the dimensions right now is a foot by a foot and it gives you a little preview of what it looks like so that's not what I want so what I do what I'll do is I'll come down here and We'll unlink it because when we when it's linked, if we change a diameter, it's going to update in both the width and height. So, another thing is is the numbers that you put here is going to default to the the inches. If you're using Imperial, not sure what the metrics is. So if you turn this off. I'm going to change the width to 750 feet and then I'm going to change the height to 1000 feet so just make sure you add that feet symbol and you're good to go you can see the dimensions have updated 
And then we want to turn off this tile, horizontal, none, and then turn off this vertical tile, so none. I'm going to press done, press OK. And now if we select our, our floor, we can do edit type, and then edit structure, and then in the structure dialog box, or in the edit assembly dialog box, we can see this by category. Click this. It's on site, so find site. You can do a search up here as well. Click site, press OK, press OK, press OK again, click out of it, and then come down here and change your visual settings to realistic, and then you'll get your, your image. So this may happen sometimes, so what I'll do is I'll edit the boundary a little bit by just clicking on it and dragging it press OK click off of it I can see hey that covers what I need to know I just need to know the stadiums parameter here um, I just want to represent that in a 3d view click out so I'm in the plan view now uh, if I come up here to our default 3d view create one Again, come down here to the visual styles, change to realistic. We now get that image to show up within our 3D views. And this is going to work if you want to export it out to like Inkscape or, or use it in Inkscape or another tool. You, you can see the images within there because it treats it as a model, modeled element with the, the material applied to it. So I hope this helps you as much as it does me. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.